Hello and welcome to Pix to Flix. I know it's been a while. Uh, a lot of things have happened. Some of my hobbies have taken a bit of a turn. Um, I'm still working uh, video and still photography, but I've also been exploring the world of 3D printing in the last few months. And I wanted to start off here and give you a quick review of a TPU, which is a flexible filament that I recently got in return for a review from Amazon.com. So here's the review. Hopefully you like it. Well, that's the Tronxy TPU product. Uh, it's a good filament, and I've used their products in the past. I've had a, a roll of white Tronxy TPU, and I used it to print out a customized mask frame for KN, uh, excuse me, KN95 and N95 masks, and that's based upon a smartphone-based 3D scan of my face, and that worked great. In fact, the red worked great for the octopus, with the exception of the print bed issue with the over adhesion and taking a chunk out of my uh, top layer of my print bed. I don't know whether that's because of uh, using Magic Goo. I've used it before for quite a while. I don't know if it's because of the temperature was wrong. That's the same temperature I've used before. But I've used all kinds of different filaments, probably made conservatively 75 or 80 prints in the last few months. And this is the first time I've ever had an issue with anything sticking to the, to the uh, print bed like this. And uh, could be the tap, could be the magic goo, could be a lot of stuff. I'm not sure. If any of you have an idea, uh, I'd appreciate it if you give me some of your thoughts. Um, but it did print out well. It had virtually no stringing. And so for that matter, uh, or for that reason, I'm giving this a four star out of five. But I am a little concerned about the print bed problem. So another thing you should know about TPU is it does absorb moisture from the air, humidity. And for that reason, and I actually do this with all my filaments, uh, I seal it in a, in a vacuum bag with a packet of desiccant. And the product that I used for the sealing is from Zwilling. It's meant for uh, food sealing. And I've actually got a couple, uh, couple products. I've got the standard old uh, food saver, which is too big, uh, but works, and it works well. Uh, those bags are disposable. The bags for the Zwilling product are reusable. A large size bag fits a one kilogram roll, and a medium-sized bag fits a half kilogram roll. And you'll see how it's used uh, here in the video I'm showing. And it does a really nice job, and uh, they, uh, all, my, all my filament is stored up on a rack uh, inside the vacuum bags. I also have a, a filament dryer 
from Sunloop, and that does a good job too. So what I'll usually do is I'll pop the filament inside the filament dryer, let it go through its cycle, and then stick it in a vacuum bag. Maybe I'm being a little over conservative, but I'm a belt and suspenders kind of guy. So I hope you like this new direction we've gone in. Uh, we will be going back to videography reviews and comments. We'll be doing more 3D printing discussions and videos here. And we're also going to be looking at expanding into virtual reality, which is another of my passions and something that I'm also looking at and learning about. So if you like what you saw today, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate that too. And in any event, I've enjoyed restarting my videos and look forward to seeing you soon. I'm Dennis, and this has been Picks to Flicks.